Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, uh, Mr. Secretary, for, for being here today. Uh, your appearance in the committee is obviously very timely, and uh, we do appreciate you uh, uh, you appearing before us. You know, infrastructure means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, um, but to myself and to my colleagues on the Transportation Committee, it's it's about the highway bill and bipartisan highway bill that improves our infrastructure, that creates jobs and strengthens the U.S. economy uh, should be the top priority for this committee. And I've always said that it's partnership and not partisanship that, uh, uh, that gets results. You and I have discussed uh, on a couple of occasions the path to uh, a bipartisan bill, um, at least the way I see it, needs to meet a few key targets. Um, I don't think the bill can grow into a multi-trillion dollar uh, catch all. It needs to be manageable and, and responsible. Um, we need to ensure equity between the rural and urban areas, which is uh, a major concern uh, that I have with the reconciliation bill, besides the process itself, um, was how little attention um, rural America received. And finally, the transportation bill, I think, needs to, to be a transportation bill, not a Green New Deal. Um, it needs to be about roads and, and bridges. And I hope that as this committee works on our next major bill, uh, that we remember to prioritize transportation infrastructure and that we don't reduce our, our core programs, um, you know, roads, bridges, ports, airports, rail. Uh, we don't reduce those to an, to an afterthought. And there are ways that we can work together to reduce um, transportation emissions and protect our environment. Uh, but this committee's focus should be on, on transportation. Um, we also need to invest taxpayers money wisely uh, where it helps them the most. You know, after providing unprecedented levels of COVID related relief this past year, we need to carefully consider what goes into um, a transportation package. The more massive any bill becomes, the more you know, bipartisanship suffers. And I wanna stress that we're ready to partner uh, with you in, in making critical investments and, and strengthening our uh, transportation system. But while a transportation bill is among the most important things uh, that this committee does, it's not the only thing, uh, as was pointed out by Chairman DeFazio. So I wanna highlight a couple of key issues uh, before the Department of Transportation. They're at least at the top of my uh, list. And one is, is preserving the FAA's gold standard uh, and standing internationally, and specifically when it comes to safety. The FAA is the leader in safety and certification. There's no question uh, in my mind about that. And the second thing is ensuring that the billions of dollars that have flowed to transit agencies uh, are shared with transit contractors who have worked hand in hand with the agencies uh, to keep these systems operating throughout the, the pandemic. And all the time, uh, they retain their workers, and many of those were union uh, employees. There's a whole lot of other things um, out there that are of interest to me, but uh, in the interest of time, I want to keep it uh, at that. And I look forward to uh, hearing what you have to say and look forward to working with you. And again, I want to thank you for being here today. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.